Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ma, I live in UK and this is a channel about semi-hydroponics and houseplants, obviously. So, I was thinking, well, I, I was not thinking, I was suggested uh, to do like a series of videos about semi-hydroponics in which I explain everything at the time, one thing at the time, instead of doing a big long video that no one has the patience to watch it. So, you want to convert the plant into semi-hydroponics. What do you need to do first? Well, you need some lack of pebbles. First of all, there is no organic Lekka or inorganic lekka. All lekka, it's inorganic. Organic lekka doesn't exist. They are made from rocks, clay, to be more specific. Right, you, so they are all made through the same procedure, burning clay in an oven till they pop. Okay? What I found, what I not found what i experimented in the last six years is this type of lecker that's not perfectly round it will hold more moisture than the wrong one that's why i mix them uh, i was using only this when i started semi-hydroponics because six years ago that was the only thing that i could find and last year, at the beginning of the year, I decided to buy the round ones as well. But I've noticed that the round ones are getting dry quicker than these ones. So I decided to mix them. So I'm always mixing them. Uh, if you want to buy Leica, you can go on Amazon, you can go on eBay, you can go in Ikea. They are selling the round ones. Uh, you can buy them from anywhere, doesn't matter the brand so much. But a thing that I would suggest, be careful when you buy Leica to be the brown color. Because I've seen some that are blackish and I don't know why, but I don't like those. I had a small bag of those, I, I bought sample and i don't like the performance of those and no matter how much you clean them you will still have a lot of uh, debris on the bottom of the container for some reason they are supposed to be all made from the same material but i don't think they are so right to the leka what are you doing next you get the leka this and remember, this is only from my experience. I'm not telling you to do that. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't, don't. But do your research first. So you get the lecker, you rinse them really well because the, the balls are rubbing each other in the, in the bag and they are making like a fine dust which will transform in clay uh, when it's getting in touch with the water. Okay. So you rinse it, what I recommend you to do is to soak the leka really well, three weeks to two months even if you want it, but at least, at least three weeks they need to soak because leka has mineral and salts in it and by soaking it you dissolve all those salts, you will change the water, I don't know, once a week if you want to or once every one and a half weeks if you if you soak the leka for three weeks, that would be enough. You'll change the water twice, rinse the leka again, put fresh water in. You don't have to put filter water, you can put tap water at the beginning. You can add some fertilizer or nutrients uh, at the second time that you put the leka if you want to. If you don't, you don't need to do that. I didn't find a big difference when I did that. Actually, I didn't find any difference when I did that. But, yeah, soak the leka. It's important. All right. Uh, after that, the setup. You can put leka in anything. In anything. Uh, 
jars, plastic cups, nursery pots, anything. If you want to be on, on the more economical part, you can uh, buy the plastic cups and put them in the plastic cups. If you have bigger plants, well, use something else, a jar from instant coffee, for example. So this is a Hoya Waieti. Waieti. Uh, I'm getting into Hoyas now. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, so this is a Hoya Waieti. It's in a plastic cup. No drainage holes whatsoever, no flushing holes because I don't believe in flushing and I will tell you why later. And yeah, works perfectly fine. What is the advantage with transparent pots, which I don't have too many. I have some African violets there. They are actually, let me see if I can. Steady. So I have my African violet there, which are in plastic pots, transparent ones, because I want to see the roots and how they are performing. They've been now for one month, no, five weeks, six weeks, six weeks in Lekka, and they do love it. I would say they do love it. They put out new leaves and they are growing and the roots are growing, I think, because I didn't check them. Well, if they have new leaves, probably the roots are growing as well, right? Hmm? Make sense? Common sense. Always use the common sense. So, yeah, but with this transparent one, what you will have, light, heat and moisture will produce algae. It's not a big issue. It's not a big issue for the plant. It's more... Well, it will be a big issue if you leave that plant in algae for one year. That will be a big issue. But you need to take out the leka and soak it really well after that or boil it to get rid of the algae, wash the container, which I'm already doing with these types of containers once a week, once a month. <laughs> once a week, no. Once a month. So, yeah, it's your choice. You can do whatever you want. Most of my plants are in this type of vases that are tinted vases, crystal vases. They are painted inside, tin, tinted, painted. But I can still see the level of the water, but I can't see the roots, which is a kind of a downsize. Or I can't see how wet are the pebbles inside. Well, usually I'm going through the first layer to see if the next layer is still wet and if it's still wet, I'm not uh, watering those even if the water from the bottom is not there so yeah they are working you can use a nursery pot with a normal pot who doesn't have any water I don't know why well, but the leka it's still dump there so well we're good she's doing fine look Pilea moon, moon violet she's doing fine she flowered and everything she loves it all right, so you can put Lekka in everything that you want, everything that you have around the house, re reuse them. Why not? You can put them even in a Tupperware. Actually, I don't have any plant in here. I just, yeah, I had a plant, I don't know what, died. Don't know why. Well, anyway, so these are the setups. You can use whatever you want for your setup just be mindful about the algae issue but because you will take the leka out once a week and you will wash it and check the roots i don't see a point in in having a, a transparent container because you will you will need to take the plant out anyway so yeah, uh, I've told you that I don't have holes for flushing. Why is that? Because I don't believe flushing is doing anything. And I'll tell you why. Let's say this one has two drainage holes or five drainage, ho drainage flushing holes all over it, right? Okay. 
you have the water reservoir under the holes okay so mm, everything that it's coming still coming out from the leca because you'll still have some fine dust or i don't know anything or more compost from the roots everything that will go down on the bottom you can flush it just use common sense how much pressure of water you have to put in this pot for the water to take from the bottom till the drainage hole all the debris or whatever it's on the bottom and take them out through those two holes how much how much pressure the water should have well a lot so if you want to flush it do it like that another thing in time if you soak your leg up well in i don't know five or six months you will have some mineral buildup and soil buildup from the nutrient water on the top of the leka i don't have any yet because i've soaked my leka really well those mineral buildup and soil buildup will not go away through flushing you will need to soak the leka so you need to take the plant out and soak the leka so why to put holes in all the containers if you need to soak the leka anyway so you need to take it out anyway i don't know if i make any sense if I don't, tell me. So this, this will be the first episode of a semi-hydroponic series. And I will tell you in each episode what do you have to do step by step till we finish this. And hopefully people will watch it because it's shorter. <laughs> right, so if you have any questions, just drop me a comment, drop me a DM. DM on instagram or whatever whatever you want have a really nice weekend and see you all next friday bye